All right, Stockmaster fans, pretty maids all in a row. Let's check it out. Chilly winds may come and may go, but chilly winds may blow. Oh, oh, oh. This is Ponce. He's a typical high school boy, admiring every fair lady he sees. Having Angie Dickinson as a teacher probably doesn't help. Well, he gets a boner in class, so he asks to excuse himself, goes to the bathroom, and inside the boys' bathroom, he finds a dead girl. Keenan Wynn is the cop, Roddy McDowell, the teacher, or the principal, actually. Not exactly a crack cop, is he? Kelly Savalas is a little more professional. Why don't you and the boy go to your office, Mr. Proctor? I'm sure it'll be more pleasant there. You don't need a kid at all. I got his whole story right here. I'm Wadsworth Tech. Rock Rod Hudson, ladies' man on campus, what? vice principal, football Wait, coach. What happened? And he's sleeping with several students. Yes, I sure did. I just heard. When he's not sleeping with students, he does have a lovely wife at home. Sergeant yes. Searcher has to interview everybody. Excellent answer. The time for it. He flirts with Miss Smith also. A single female teacher. Well, yes, I I think at times we could even if you would. Uh help him. Oh, I understand your hesitation. This could cut into your She wants After him to help Ponce with sex. Has anyone made any unnatural sexual overtures to you? Uh... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. She does agree to tutor him. Of course, Rock Hudson said that Let's he's impotent. Can't get erections. Oh, well, I'll just <clears throat> wait here. No, come with me, Bob. Okay, well, I'll bring the text along. Well, I'm going to be equally honest with you. The reason I invited you here was to help you. You must be putting me on, Miss Smith. And then he gets a boner. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just wonderful? Rock Hudson's he character's name is Tiger. To touch. He also makes the moves on her. And this can be quite pleasant. Yes, it could be pleasant. You are now responding to me. Tiger's getting it from everyone. You were making it with her. He's talking about the dead girl. <laughs> Did she tell you that? Yes. And guess what? A little while later, she shows up dead. Certainly points the finger at Tiger, doesn't it? Pops, football practice today? No, we never practice on the day of a murder. She invites Ponce over again to do some more tutoring, but I think she has other things in mind tonight. Now that she knows he can get boners, she might want to put one of those boners to use. He was never impotent. His real problem was that he'd never been with a woman, never been with a girl, was a virgin. Hell of a dress there. I've got it. Bath time. And although we didn't see it, they clearly did the deed. They're going to be late for school. Two more bodies show up. Star Trek's Lieutenant Montgomery Scott. The day of the big game. Is it possible? We can do it like we planned. Yeah. And 
they do win. Clance goes in the office, finds the tape, listens to it. She took a picture of herself. He catches on him and says, let's take a ride. Hey, great game, eh, Sam? It's time to blow the whistle on this swing up. They got McDrew for questioning. Sam, That's Tiger. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, but did you have to kill him? She says, in the office that morning, the ultimatum, divorce my wife. Marry her, announce it to the world at that moment. You can't have Ponce as a witness, so he drives off the bridge. But Ponce apparently survived. Everybody thinks Tiger was a hero and pushed him out, saved himself, and Tiger drowned in the process, although his body never came up. After the funeral, Telly finds, I think that's. Rock Hudson's wife with tickets to Brazil. The movie ends with several scenes of punts flirting and picking up women. I guess he's overcome his insecurities. Right, let's talk about Pretty Maids in a Row. It's a movie or a scene, I think. Two times, once in 1992. It was one of the first movies that I ever taped on SP Speed on a VHS tape. Uh, one movie per tape. And then I um, saw it again maybe uh, 2001 or so, a long time ago. So I've seen it. I guess I watch this every 10 or 20 years. So anyway, Pretty Maids and All in Row stars Rock Hudson. He plays a guy named Tiger. He's a uh, assistant principal, football coach, maybe a guidance counselor. I'm not sure. But he ends up sleeping with several lovely ladies in this movie at, at this high school. Um, and then he kind of mentors this guy named Ponce. Now, Ponce has a problem. Uh, he's a virgin. He's never been with a woman in any way, shape, or form. He gets boners all the time. Um, and he's just very shy, withdrawn, that sort of thing. So he, the uh, Rock Hudson, asks uh, Angie Dickinson, who's a teacher there, said, hey, can you help this kid? He's impotent. He's got problems. She doesn't. He doesn't tell him that what his, his real problem is. So he thinks he's going over there to get help with his uh, English or whatever, and she thinks uh, she's there to help him with various other things. Um, but who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, he gets a boner while he's there, and Angie Dickinson notices. She's like, wow, that's splendid. Way to go. Um, and then he leaves embarrassed, whatever. So anyway, he comes back later on the next night or something, and they do some more tutoring. Next thing you know, they're dancing. She's taking off her clothes, and then she gives him a bath, and... They did it. So apparently um, she has no morals either. So anyway, um, but what's also going on in this school is that uh, some of the girls in the school are turning up dead. And um, we always think Rock Hudson might be the killer here. Telly Savalas is a cop. Keenan Winnan is a cop. Uh, James Doohan, uh, who was Scotty on Star Trek, is also a cop. They're all investigating this. Um, ultimately, we find out at the end when uh, Ponce finds this tape and a picture, uh, he knows that uh, Tiger's been sleeping around. And uh, it, he figures it all out. He confronts the teacher about it. And the teacher takes him for a drive and says, what am I going to do? I can't let you get away, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, he, then he decides to simply drive his car off the bridge and uh, kill both of them, apparently. Well, Ponce lives and Tiger's thought to be a hero uh, that he pushed him out of the car at the last second or whatever. And uh, at the funeral, even though his body never came up from the water, at his funeral, everybody mourns him. However, Telly Savalas notices that the widow, uh, he was married, by the way, Rock Hudson's character, has some tickets to Brazil. So she think, he thinks that he's probably still alive, and he probably is. And the last scenes in the movie are Ponce. He's very confident now, and he's flirting with every woman he can, and he's picking them all up. So anyway, that's pretty maids all in a row. Um... I mentioned the word boner several times in my review, as well as this one here. And that's what this movie is. It's one big boner. It came out in 1971, and all the ladies in this movie are just gorgeous. Um, they're supposed to be high school kids, obviously, but they're clearly all adults. 
Uh, I think there, there was a Playboy um, pictorial featuring all these ladies too. Roger Vadim uh, directed this. I believe he was married to Jane Fonda at the time or shortly around that time. Didn't he direct Barbarella too? I'm not sure. Um, there are several nude scenes in here. And again, it just <laughs> the fact that Rock Hudson's sleeping with several students and nobody seems to care. And Angie Dickinson also sleeping with one of her students. Again, nobody seems to care. It was a different time, I guess. But part of me, sorry, I missed that time. So anyway, that is it. Pretty maids all in a row. Um... Yeah, lovely ladies, plenty of nude scenes. Um, Rock Hudson, of course, uh, ironically, um, he was a homosexual and wasn't interested in ladies. Um, but damn, he got a lot of them in this movie. So anyway, that's it. Pretty Maids on a Roll. Pretty cool movie, actually. I kind of enjoyed this. So check it out. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about this. It's available on DVD from the Warner Archive Collection. I don't know if they had a legit DVD prior to this. I'm not sure, but whatever. Looks really good. Check it out. Leave some comments. Bye.